here we are once again. We're at Great Rhythm Brewing Company. We're going to go in and take a look and see what we've got. Pick up some new beers and uh, have a little tasting. So what's changed since the last time I've been here? Not a whole lot. About you know? six weeks ago. Yeah, the nuts. Oh yeah, the nuts. That's, That's new, good. yeah. The number two, the, the once a year fresh wet hop IPA that we do. Uh, the uh, the mad scientist, Dan included, drove a truck up to, I think it was Gorham, Maine. They have a hop farm. Oh. And there, you know, within three hours it was back down and being brewed. So it's fresh off the vine, green, very kind of uh, herbaceous and floral. Nugs, it's called, eh? Nugs, yep. I think that kind of harkens back to the original version, which was Nugget Hops. Uh huh. This year it's called Cascade. Ah, oh, a little grapefruit. Yeah, I don't get really much grapefruit, and I think maybe that's that might come a little bit more if it's uh, if it was aged or dried a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think that's maybe at least for now. That's what's cool about beer too, is you know it, what I, what tastes tastes a certain way uh, profile that I get might be completely different to the next person. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's a little bit more I think in line with a West Coast style IPA. Um, it's not quite okay. as sweet. Okay, why don't I have a, a just a, a taste of that one just to. Do you want a four ounce or do you just kind of want a breath? Four ounce is fine. Okay. Great. I think it's it came out great. Yeah, I definitely I find it less less sweet and more floral, a little grassy, um, but still really smooth and really delicious. All right. That is certainly a different flavor than the West Coast Cascades. Is that right? Okay. No doubt about that. And I'm sure you've probably tasted West Coast Ca uh, Cascade more recently than I have. Okay. Um, but it's definitely a, it's a very different animal from, you know, like a high fi or a squeeze. Exactly. Um, that like real kind of it's sweetness. A lot milder. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice. You guys didn't happen to can this, did you? We did, but we sadly sold the last four pack this morning. Okay. Well, I'll just have I, to... But we're, you know, just as a consolation, I'm surprised that it lasted as long as it did. Uh huh. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's what's sitting in there fermenting that? Uh... Uh, so we're actually um, there is a new surprise. Um, I'm only going to tell you that it's called fluff sickle. Fluff. Fluff sickle. Fluff sickle. Sort of like sort of like popsicle. Oh, okay. But sort of a play on a couple different elements. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. So, uh, yeah, look for that. Look for the uh, the new batch of double squeeze, uh, which would be great to have back. And then once, yeah, I mean, really, the next thing after that is the is it bliss okay. that we do with our uh, cranberry combo. So it's not not a true sour. Right. Um, but does give that sort of uh, some of those sour notes. That's kind of an annual single release that we do with that. Um, and that's really all I know about so far. But Fantastic. Mad scientists are always, always spinning their wheels. That's always fun to do. Yeah, exactly. Super. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for all of that information. My pleasure. Yeah. And who am I speaking with here? My name is Matt. Matt? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm Peter, and I've been in and here before. Yeah, so, super. Great. Well, thanks for the information. Anytime. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for watching this video. Click on the thumbs up button, and I'd appreciate it. Click on my beard itself over there, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And if you have an idea for a place I should visit, or a beer I should try, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. And be sure to let me know what you think of this video as well. I'm Peter LaFrance for BeerBasics.com.